Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel, or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday, I go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist, wish list, wish list, or if everything is a total washout. I hope the camera is like focusing on me. It has a bad habit now of focusing on the bookshelf behind me, so anyway. <laughs> I did film a full get ready with me video of this look. It'll be coming on Valentine's Day, actually. You can see the very dramatic lashes. I just felt like doing something fun and dramatic, so that's what I did. Before we jump into the new uh, products on Instagram, let me go ahead and show you just some quick updates. I do have quite a few new products in my collection. Uh, one uh, is actually PR that I'm pretty excited about. This is from Milk Makeup. This was gifted to me through Influencer. And this is the new Sunshine Skin Tint. So it's like a very light coverage, like glowy BB cream kind of thing. I haven't even used it yet, it's brand new, so I cannot wait to test this out. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see a video of that, cause I have not filmed with it yet, but I did as part of that Get Ready With Me where I filmed this look. I'm actually wearing this today. This is the new Physicians Formula Butter Believe It Foundation and Concealer. I was so excited to finally find this Butter Believe It line in stores. Alvin and I, we actually had to drive like 25 minutes to find a Rite Aid, and then that Rite Aid thankfully had all the Physicians Formula stuff that I wanted. So anyway, so I got that foundation. I got their matte version of the butter bronzer, which I'm pretty excited about. And this smells amazing. Like I know the butter bronzer smells fantastic, but this smells better to me. Oh, it's, it's like vanilla vacation is what it smells like. Mm. And what I think I was most excited about, the putty primer. So Physicians Formula did come out with a putty primer that I finally picked up. I'm wearing it for the first time today, so I will do a follow-up video in a couple of weeks after I get to thoroughly test out these products and let you guys know what I think. I don't have it with me anymore, but I'll throw a picture up. I also picked up the new Physicians Formula. It's in the same Butter Believe It line. They came out with a new mascara. So I did also pick up that mascara. Okay, and I think that is all the- oh, wait, one last update. <laughs> So I am currently in the middle of um, getting my Poshmark's, Poshmark, my Poshmark storefront, Poshmark storefront ready. Um, I am going to be posting um, a bunch of makeup that I decluttered, that I very lightly used, some I haven't even used at all, to sell on Poshmark for a lot cheaper than what it is I bought it for or got it for. So I am going to post that. My goal is going to be to have everything go live because I'm posting things now, but they're like not available for sale. I want to make everything available for sale at the same time, so sometime in the next week or so. When I do that, I will post it on my Instagram, which is right over here. Make sure you follow me if you're interested and also here in the community tab. So make sure you keep an eye on the community tab and on my Instagram if you want to see whenever all my makeup... My, the, 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 the. If you want to see whenever all the makeup that I'm going to be selling will be going live. It'll all be through Poshmark. Also, thank you to everyone on Instagram who answered. I posted like a question poll about what website was best for selling, either Poshmark, Depop, Mercari, and overwhelmingly the response was Poshmark, so that's where I decided to start. Okay, now I think we're done with all the housekeeping, so let's jump into Instagram. <laughs> okay, so I have not heard of this brand before. I think it is a UK brand because I see the prices are in pounds, but this is Viv. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Viv Beauty. And these are sunset blushes. They are creamy blushes that can be built up from a delicate flush to a lifting block of color, made with finely melted, melted. I can't talk today. I'm just all, I'm not even drinking. I just have Dr. Pepper, what the hell? Made with finely milled pigments that crest a soft satin finish. They, I have to say, honestly, the packaging looks amazing. Like it looks luxurious and I like the shades, but I, I don't need another blush. I got so many blushes. <laughs> All right, so Makeup Eraser is coming out with some new minis. I actually really do like their minis. I have um, one full mini set of like their mini makeup erasers that are really, really nice. I also just bought a full-size makeup eraser on sale in December. They're honestly really good. Um, I do think it's a bit gimmicky to just come out with the same thing in different colors, but if you haven't had a makeup eraser before, I really recommend getting a set of the minis because you could use one mini each day that you wear makeup and then you can just do your laundry once a week if you do it once a week like I do. But I gotta say though, that color, the color story is kind of cute, but to be honest, mine got stained. Like they still work, but they're stained with eyeliner and makeup so they don't look fantastic for that long. So don't pick up a pastel set if you're expecting it to stay pastel even after you've washed it because it's not. All right, so here we go. I saw uh, LS's video, I added it to my watch later, and then by the time I got around to watching it, the actual product was announced. This is the new Naked palette. This is the Naked Wild West palette. Now, I already said, like, I knew I was gonna be disappointed 
by the new Naked palette, just no matter what it was, because Urban Decay recently has just been like really disappointing. You know, I think the last palette that I got excited about from Urban Decay was the Naked Heat palette. And that was years ago. And I'm actually about to sell it <laughs> on my Poshmark because it's just, it's not what like I want anymore, you know? And this, I like the packaging. I gotta say the packaging is very cute, but like the shades they picked, it's just a neutral palette with the pop of blue. How many years now have we had this neutral palette with a pop of blue? <sighs> yeah, it just, mm, why? So no, I'm not gonna be spending 54-ish dollars on this. How long can Naked, Naked, <laughs> how long can Urban Decay keep doing this? Coming out with like the same kind of Naked palettes over and over? I wonder, hmm. Oh boy, this looks amazing, but I know for a fact I'm not gonna get it. ColourPop, um, Pull Up For A Change partnered with ColourPop, I guess, and 100% of the proceeds of this collection will support Black founders through the newly established Pull Up Or Change Impact Fund, which is incredible. This is a collection from ColourPop. It comes with an eyeshadow palette, a lippy stick, cream gel liner, um and a super shock duo so it's going to be available february 7th which is actually today the day that i'm filming this it looks amazing honestly those shades look gorgeous together it's like a it's a beautiful like sunset palette i like it and i love the matte black packaging but i know for a fact the fact that color pop never seems to supply enough and everyone has horrible experiences with their checkout process i know i'm not even gonna try it to the point now where like things even when i see things like this where it's like going to a great charity or going to a great cause and like i want to buy it i know i'm not gonna get it so i'm not even gonna bother trying so at this point i've basically written off ColourPop because it's like why why bother oh, oh i don't know how i feel about these mark so mark jacobs is coming out with the cafe collection which damn it i love coffee if this had been different, I would have picked something up. <laughs> okay, so, oh, they're caffeine infused. Why does that have to be caffeine infused? I don't need caffeine in my blush. Um, okay, so they're coming out with a three powder blush bronze highlight palette, which look at this. First off, Neapolitan ice cream. Second off, how am I gonna get my brush in there? Like I know that they're packaging, these things are pretty big. But even then, like these tiny little swatches, like a blush that's shaped like that is going to be annoying to get a big fluffy brush in there to get blush on. The only one that I think would work is the highlighter because I have tiny highlight brushes. But like trying to get a big bronzer brush or a big blush brush in here. Yikes. They also have the Extra Shot Caffeine Concealer and Foundation. Damn it, I kind of want it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Anyway, I think those compacts are still pretty ridiculous. Okay, so I'm kind of surprised that Jaclyn Cosmetics just came back without, like, really addressing any of the issues. And then when they came back, like, they still sold out of this collection, which is what I don't understand. I feel like so many consumers and so many YouTubers, especially, I saw this with a lot of YouTubers that I follow on other platforms, they jump and run to buy these just for the views so they can make a video either bashing it or talking about it but ultimately you have to realize even if you do buy something from that creator that you don't want to really support just to kind of boost and benefit your channel you're still supporting them you're still putting money in the pockets of someone who like is sketchy and has it's a snowplow we decided another the snowstorm gotta love being in new jersey but you're still, you're supporting them. You're putting money in the pockets of those people that you said yourselves you didn't really want to support. That's kind of annoying to me. And I see it specifically where it's like the YouTubers will pass it off and saying, oh, well, people want to see me use it. People want to see a video about it. It's like, well, you know, you got to weigh the pros and cons of that, you know, but they don't. I just find it interesting. Anyway, um, I'm not going to be buying anything from Jacqueline Cosmetics ever. And you know what? I, I want to go a step further. I'm not going to watch any videos about it because I don't want to endorse this kind of behavior. Rex, do you agree? He's looking at me right now. He agrees. Yes. Okay, at this point, I can't even tell the difference between these palettes. KKW Beauty came out with two new collections. And I swear they've come out with these same palettes before. <laughs> Please tell me, who is buying all of these releases from KKW? Who? 
who, 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 there's an owl in here. Who is buying this makeup? No. Okay. So at first I saw this. This is from Milk Makeup and this is a new electric glossy lip plumper. So it's a glossing, it's a lip plumping gloss, which is nice. In a nice squeezy tube. I do love me a squeezy tube. Looking at the shades, I was like, oh, the shades are so cute. Oh, especially that like the deep shades. Oh my God, I want this. Then I looked at the price, $25 for a lip plumping gloss. Absolutely not. No, no, I will not. No, thank you. That's, that's too much it's that's highway robbery that's don't pay 25 dollars for a lip gloss don't okay so once again ColourPop almost kind of sort of got me they came out with these little heart-shaped blushes how dare you again i know i couldn't get them so i wasn't even gonna try and get them do i want another brand to come out with cute heart-shaped blushes absolutely do i want them just so i could pretend i'm sailor moon and have flashbacks to like the happy the tiny happy parts of my childhood yes yes i do if you know any other brands that have some cute heart-shaped blushes that aren't too faced or color pop please let me know down below <laughs> Hmm. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Milk is just coming out with so many new products recently. Okay, so this is from Milk Makeup and these are called the Color Chalks. Let's see what it says. These are handmade, glide onto eyelids, cheeks, lips, or beyond for buildable shimmering payoff. They come in a peel off wrapper and portable reusable tube can be used wet or dry, infused with a blend of essential oils for a subtle scent, Silky, shimmering, 14 shades, $18 each. So this is intriguing me because it seems like it's multitasking because I said you could use it cheeks, what it, eyelids, lips, cheeks, and beyond. I, hmm, I'm curious. I'm pretty curious here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this on my watch list. I kind of want to try these. It's, it's intriguing. It's different. All right, so here's another example as to why Too Faced is really shitty. And like, they just come out with like the stupidest shit <laughs> and think just because it's edgy that it's it's gonna be a hit, but it's not. They're coming out with a Lady Balls lipstick. Oh yeah, you heard me, Lady Balls. Lady Balls lipstick. Don't you just wanna rub Lady Balls on your face? And this video is now probably demonetized. Thank you, Too Faced. Okay, so it is a 12 hour lipstick. I mean, honestly, just looking at the lipstick itself, it looks like super dry, like, ugh. ugh. No, do I wanna buy these? Absolutely not. It's funny, I'm looking at the comments on the trend made post. Everyone is like, this is the worst name. Why are you naming it this? It's like that, it's the kid that does edgy shit just for attention. That's what Too Faced is. And it's not, it's not good. It's, it's actually kind of cringy. Very cringy. Hmm. Okay, so I do not need any new makeup brushes. I have plenty of makeup brushes, but I love the Real Techniques brushes that I have and they're coming out with a whole new line of brushes and I would recommend their brushes because the ones I've tried, I have loved and they have held up. They're coming out with this new, oh, it's limited edition, unfortunately, but this is called the Soft Glam Brush Collection. It looks really pretty and they've got this really nice design. They've got little fake crystals on them. It just looks really cute. And I know their brush quality is pretty good. Okay, so Ofra Cosmetics is coming out with new duo pans. They're blushers and bronzers. So it's a bronzer blush in one pan, which eh, I'm not a huge fan of that. Are you supposed to swirl it and put it on or is it, are they supposed to stay separate? Because they're not going to stay separate. But they're coming out with liquid blush. I think the liquid blush is expensive though. Blusher, liquid blush. Oh no, okay, so the liquid blushes are only $15. It's the duos that are $30. Okay, that's not bad. I am curious. I really wanna try some liquid blushes, like the the Rare Beauty, this one. There's a few that have caught my eye. So I might, I might take a look at the Sephora website and just browse and see what kind of liquid blushes are available because I'm super curious and interested. Have you tried any liquid blushes recently that you like? Let me know down below. Oh, nope, don't want that. Okay, here's your reminder to not support P. Louise because the owner is racist. <laughs> no, not gonna support. 
Okay, okay, this is interesting because I do really like another concealer from Makeup Revolution. This is the Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. Interesting. So it comes in 15 shades. It's $10 each. I tried their, it's like their big line. What's it called? I'll throw a picture up. But I love that concealer. It's a really good concealer. And I love their stick foundation. I really want to try this. Normally I find them at, oh, I don't like the spongy applicator though. I hope it's like the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind where you can take the sponge off because I don't like sponge applicators like that. But I do want to try this out. I want to give it a little like. <laughs> All right, is it time to trash Morphe for this part of the video? It's time to trash Morphe for this part of the video. Okay, so they're coming out with a new foundation, which, I mean, their last foundation went so well, so of course they came out with another foundation. This is uh, the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. It's $20 and they've got 40 shades. Now, I gotta say, I have not seen a single person on my Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube actually buy this. <laughs> and I think it's because the first foundation was so shit from Morphe. I mean, to be honest, if you're looking for affordable makeup, you now, there's so many more options than Morphe. Cause I feel like when Morphe and ColourPop kind of jumped onto the scene, like they were one of the only options for like good but affordable makeup. There's so many makeup brands. There's so many places and like brands you can get affordable, amazing makeup from. So like, you don't have to go to Morphe, don't go to Morphe. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, God damn it, MAC. <laughs> okay, I know MAC limited edition collections are trash. I, I know this. I know that they just have pretty packaging and that's it, I, I know this. But God damn it, is this not cute? This is, it's called the Black Cherry Collection. It's got cherry blossoms and black packaging. And if that's not me to a T, damn it, I'm upset. The only thing I would buy is the Fix Plus because they don't do anything to the Fix Plus. They don't change the Fix Plus. They just put it in a new bottle and the new bottle is pretty. <laughs> the rest of these products, I know for a fact they're not gonna be good because there have been so many limited edition MAC collections and pretty packaging that have turned out to be shit. I think the best example of this was the Boom Boom Bloom collection, where it was the pink version of this. And I was like, oh, this is so cute, I wanna try it. And then I saw videos of people using the products. Specifically, I think it was the, the Beauty News Girls did a video and how the, the um, highlighter was literally just a chalky powder with a, an overspray to make it glittery. And once you got through the overspray, it was just a chalky white powder. Oh, nope, not doing that again. No matter how freaking cute this, ugh. I'm, I'm upset by how cute this collection looks. I'm upset. Mac, you're on thin ice. Okay, so like I'm glad that this release looks hella boring because there are a few products from Shantakai that I tried and I liked, but I don't have the Shantakai budget. I don't have the Shantakai job and 401k yet, you know, to be able to buy their stuff on the regular. So I do, I can't find anything I like too much from Shantakai. This is the new spring 2021 collection. There's an eye quad and there are some lipsticks. Um, yeah, let me just say, I'm glad it's boring. I'm glad I don't want it because I can't afford it. <laughs> oh my God, my dumbass thought this was an empty palette. <laughs> it's not. Ooh, this is the Toppers palette by Suva Beauty. It's $35. $35 seems to me expensive just for like toppers, you know? But it looks really pretty. Like, and seeing it like swatched out on the models, it looks gorgeous. But like, it's a bit steep for just a topper, you know? Maybe if they marketed like more as a transformer palette, I don't know. Still, it seems like a lot for like a companion palette, right? What do you think? Okay, and I think we are caught up and I'm glad because my phone is about to die. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this edition of the BWOW. If there's anything that I missed, any other new releases that you want me to rant about, I don't know, tag me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram if you're interested. If not, just leave me a comment down below and I'll answer it either in the comments or in the next edition of the BWOW. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. I also cannot wait to take these lashes off. I felt so fancy all day having them on, but like now I'm ready to get them off. Mm -mm.